I'm Greg Adams with the City of Mesa Fire and Medical Department. I'm an EMT. This is Thad Hunter. He's an engineer paramedic with the same department. Today we're going to be talking about splinting and what you should do in case or prior to our arrival of four minutes or if there's a situation where it's going to take us longer than four minutes to get to you. Thad, would you go through some of those? Um, this is going to be kind of an informal video that we're shooting this time. Kind of give you a look at some of the stuff that we have. Um, we have these small splints for a wrist, uh, bigger ones for maybe an upper arm or an elbow. Uh, we also have traction splints in here for, for long bones, SAM splints. And it's kind of like what Greg was saying. Um, what we're really going to do is talk to you about what you can do prior to our arrival in that four minute period. Uh, really, when someone breaks a bone, my son did it, he was snowboarding, broke his wrist. It, a lot of people self-splint. Uh, they put their, their limbs into the position of comfort. Uh, it hurts less. Um, the only real thing that you need to address is if it's a compound fracture where it breaks and a bone sticking out, do not put the bone back in. I know it sounds gross anyways, but if there's bleeding, we need you to control the bleeding. So basically what we'll do is we'll, we'll come there and we'll get our splint and we'll, let me use arm, and we'll splint the joint above, say the fractures here, we'll splint the joint above and the joint below. And then you just want to put it in a position of comfort. You might have to put some padding down in here. And then we'll take uh, tape or gauze and we'll wrap that and then bring it into their chest and we could put on a sling and wrap it around. That way it's in a position of comfort. We have the ability to give pain medication. Thanks, Greg. Um, we have the ability to give pain medication, so we'll probably give you something to help with the pain and then transport you to the closest facility. And what happens if you're not within four minutes? This is a good point. Uh, we walked around the fire station and we kind of found some items that if, if you were out hiking, uh, camping, and it looked like help was gonna be a while and it hurt and we needed to, to uh, you needed to find something to splint something with to give a relief of pain. We found this magazine. We thought, you know, you could, you could uh, fold that magazine up, uh, take a shoelace, uh, get some tape, tape it up like that. Um, Strands of a t-shirt, if that's all you have left, just rip off pieces. And then you can tie it up with that as well. And this might work also as a sling. You can sit that arm in there and tie it around. So again, uh, what you really need to focus on is if the bones are sticking out, don't put them back in. Uh, control bleeding and try to put them in a position of comfort. Uh, they could get kind of shocky, and we did a video on shock. Treat them for shock, keep them warm, keep them calm. Be safe. If you guys have anything you want to see or uh, have a video that you'd like us to do for you, you or can, have any questions, or have any questions, you can uh, leave a question at Facebook or give us a tweet on Twitter. So be safe, have fun, and we'll see you later.